Hey, deserving listeners, 90 Day Fiance bears all. Let's watch. Darcy, I hear that you do breathing exercises to calm yourself down when you are stressed. This could be a very good time to show us how this works. How about it? Okay, just breathe in through your nose and out through the mouth. So it's good. Relaxation can go a long way and we all should do it more often. Research shows that relaxation, meditation, these kinds of things can help in a variety of ways. It doesn't always help, but it, it can. And it's, uh, you know, we're often more stressed out than we realize. I would venture to say that most people, you know, on the scale from one to 10, where 10 is very stressed out and one is completely relaxed, I would say most people are, you know, like a four or five and don't even know they're a four or a five and would benefit by helping their body relax. It obviously can help with sleep, with concentration, with mood. It you know, doesn't always, but it can. But it can also help with one's psychology, one's personality, one's ability to be resilient, one's ability to think straight, one's ability to be differentiated. In fact, you'll hear me talk about differentiation and one of the interventions within the uh, therapy of, of Boeing therapy of regarding differentiation is relaxation is the ability to because when you and actually john gottman talks about this as well is that when you are when you're physiologically aroused you're you know in a high distress fight or flight reactivity state you are it affects your brain it affects blood flow it affects your uh everything including your brain and so it's hard to think straight and it's hard to have a constructive conversation also you interpret everything through that fear and through that stress so say you're, you're stressed out from work and you come home and your spouse is like hey uh can you clean the garage tomorrow and and you're already like a seven well the fact that your spouse is asking you a question you know making a request to clean the garage tomorrow it's filtered through that mood that you're in and you have an impulse in your head. Well, so let's actually give a situation where you're a one. You come home, you're a one, you're totally chill. Your spouse says, hey, can you clean the garage tomorrow? There's a part of you that is like, oh, really? As soon as I get home, you're going to ask me that? I don't want to clean the garage. I want to relax. I want to do this tomorrow. I don't want to clean. I hate the garage. Uh, but there's another part of you that's just like, well, you know, it'd probably be a good idea to clean the garage and you know, my partner isn't breathing down my neck about it. I could probably say, you know, I'll think about it or, you know, I'll put it on the list and my partner isn't going to freak out about it. You know, so you, it's a differentiated place. You can look at your impulse and go like, well, you know, there's, there's other, there's other side to the story here. I, I can manage this situation. Well, I don't want to get into a fight. My partner isn't demanding in this moment. I can, I can say, yes, I'll do it. And later on, I'll, I'll think about whether or not I want to. And then maybe if I don't, I'll go to them and say, sorry, I don't want to do it. You know, there's, it, it's all in a split second is that ability. But when you're calm, it's much easier to do that. When you're a seven and you come in and your spouse says, hey, I want you to clean the garage tomorrow. You're, you're going to, you're going to have that knee jerk reaction of like, I don't want to. And how dare they, you know, say that to me as I'm walking in the door. And there's no ability to follow it up with, well, you know, calm down. There's there's other things here. They're not making it a ban. They're just, they're just asking a question. And it's not a bad idea to clean the garage tomorrow. So, uh, you know, but when you're a seven, none of that is available to you because of the way you're seeing things, the activation of certain you know fear centers and f fight or flight response uh mechanisms that make it so that all you do is come at the person and just be like how dare you you know do this to me and uh so that's a seven but say you're a four well like i was saying a lot of us don't even know we're a four you ask people if they're you know what number they are and they'll say oh, i'm a one but then we hook them up to various different monitors and it looks like they're actually a four it's hard to know because physiology doesn't always correlate with um, distress in the brain, but but it looks like someone's not you know very, super mellow, and they're like, well, I feel fine, and uh, so along those lines, one, we want to become as aware of our distress level as we can, and that that means listening to the body and really kind of knowing yourself, knowing. Another clue to how much distress you have is how differentiated you are and how how much fight or flight sort of impulses you have in your brain. And when you get to know those, then you can sort of 
like like you like you know solving a maze backward you can say well if i'm having these thoughts i must be very distressed right now because i only have these thoughts when i'm distressed so along those lines if you periodically do relaxation you can bring your four down to a three or a two even though you don't even know you're a four and particularly if you're a seven you know you're driving home you're a seven you're upset at your boss before you walk in the house take a beat take five minutes just you know relax the muscles in your neck some breathing maybe close your eyes closing your eyes does seem to help because it's associated with relaxation you know and uh going to your happy place thinking happy thoughts you know there's a lot of things one can do so i'm glad that darcy can do that for herself and that's great just release the old release the old Florian, do you ever do these exercises? No, I don't believe you this. don't do it. <laughs> so uh, it's associated sometimes with religion, which is fine. But for the Florians of the world, it can feel like hocus pocus or like a religious thing that is counter because I believe he's Christian. And that's why I uh, talk about it more in the relaxation side. You know, you don't need to hold your arms out like this, you know, that. that these are sometimes associated with religious practices. It's mainly just relaxation. It's mainly just like getting your physiology to relax because uh, it, we evolved to protect ourselves from danger, right? As all animals. And one of the things that when we're in a dangerous place, our body will, you know, like, like think about it a hundred thousand years ago, you're hunting and gathering and you're in a zone that you don't know that well, or you're in a zone where there are leopards that might kill you, and you've seen it before, and so you're heading into a danger zone, uh, <laughs> archer style, and you start to tense up. Your body knows like danger's around the corner, and so your body starts to tense up. Your your muscles are are ready to go. Your heart rate goes up. You, you know your blood vessels uh have effects your brain go, you know there's changes to the physiology to be able to run or fight or something if a leopard comes out and tries to kill us and that served us to have that stress response you know to be at the ready well the problem is is that as social animals and as isolated animals and as animals now that we are in constant onslaught with the internet and all the news that's trying to actually freak us out that you can be all day long, 24 seven in that state that we used to only experience every once in a while, right? Because in the tribe, we would be you know, around the fire and with our kin and we'd be in a safe zone and we'd only venture into danger zones every once in a while. But now we have a, we have a lifestyle that is highly isolated and because, you know, the thing that I, I like to imagine that we used to live, it's hard for us to know, but I imagine if you've seen the movie Crudes, the, the cartoon, how they all sleep in a big ball, <laughs> that I imagine that that was probably true, especially if you're in a colder climate that to, to save uh, body warmth, that you at night for eight hours, maybe even longer, you know, just sort of prepping for sleep, that you would sleep all in the same close proximity, if not physically touching each other, your siblings, your parents, you know, the, your kids, this kind of thing. And just feel, just think about how wonderful that would feel and how opposite our lives are generally speaking today there are people that can go months without ever having physical contact with their human being <laughs> that's not natural so uh the so we're, we're in this constant state of distress and fight or flight and lo and behold we have a lot of depression increasing depression suicidality anxiety all sorts of other problems eating problems addiction problems behavior problems, relationship problems, health problems, like it all gets out of whack. And so relaxation is so necessary. Now, this is great, but optimally, we will do what just naturally brings us to equilibrium, which is physical touch and emotional bonding. When we emotionally bond and have eye contact and physical contact and we're in sync with each other, our physiology goes down. We don't need to do relaxation. You know, 100,000 years ago, people didn't meditate. 
They didn't do relax, relaxation exercises. They just lived their lives and bonded around the fire and slept next to each other and played with each other physically. You know, you're playing with your niece or your nephew or your children or whatever. And all of that regulates our physiology and our psychologies. Anyway, so Florian's like, no, that's stupid. I don't like it. it but that's f- silly. Like relaxation, you don't, you don't like to relax? <laughs> <laughs> Debuting their brand new song, Doing It Big. Give it up for Darcy and Stacey. Okay, I knew they were, uh, I knew they had recorded songs before. So now we're seeing a live um Performance, which I have to say is, uh, you know, it takes a lot of guts to do that on an international television show. It's hard. <laughs> Performance is hard. Uh, so let's see how they do. I mean, I'll just say this isn't for me, uh, I, but uh, a lot of this style of music isn't for me so maybe other people like this sort of thing um it it seems fine um i think that will be that episode of psychology i I mean i've seen enough i I mean look art is art and good for them so everyone out there please take care of yourself because you deserve it you really really do